So in this video, we're going to talk about why Slant 3D uses FDM and only FDM, a hot nozzle squirting out plastic, to mass produce parts for our clients. So the very first reason is focus. As a mass production company, we have to be experts, absolute experts in how to do what we do. But if we were to have multiple different 3D printing processes inside of the organization, we would be diluting our expertise, our talent, our focus, and our resources across many different processes without really having a big differentiator. By focusing exclusively on FDM, we are able to know more about it than anybody else and know how to focus and create parts for it and mass produce parts for it without being distracted by, oh, there's the resin print, oh, there's the SLS print or that kind of thing. You were able to just get really, really good by focusing in on that core technology. The other reason that we use only FDM is for the supply chain. FDM is the only 3D printing process that uses the existing injection molding supply chain that's been built up over decades. We can make filament from basically any injection molding material with very slight or zero modification as compared to every other process where there are basically new types of materials that have to be created. Photopolymers do not exist in some colors. Powders can be really expensive to get. And both of these are restricted by the physics of how that process works. Whereas FDM using thermoplastics that melt when you heat them up uses exactly the same sort of technology and the same type of polymers that every other process for mass production has used. So we wanna tap into that existing infrastructure so that we can really scale up and not have to worry about the cost of raw materials. The other reason we use FDM is its reliability. It's a very well understood process. It is a mechanical process where a tool head moves in three directions. That is very easy to maintain, very easy to project around, and very easy to understand and scale up. There aren't unknowns. We know how it works. We know the dynamics of the materials. We know the dynamics of the machine. It is not R&D to make this process work. It's very well understood and it's actually kind of old, originally created in the mid 1980s. So that gives us a reliability in the process to where we can reliably give our clients some expectation without having an experimental technology in the background of it. Another big reason that we prefer FDM is that it has the fewest steps in the production process. Any other 3D printing process, whether powder, resin, or otherwise, when the part is printed, it then either has to be washed or it has to be cured. If you're looking at a manufacturing process, you want to use the process with the fewest steps. FDM has the fewest steps. You print the part, and then you might have to remove support, but you will have to remove support on every other process anyway. And if the part is designed well, even the support doesn't exist. FDM should be able to produce a fully finished part off of the machine without any additional post-processing. This gives us a couple of advantages. First of all, it reduces the downstream labor and expenses for post-processing and the innovation in the process management around that. Because again, you want as few steps as possible to make sure you're producing a reliable part. There's only one place where this thing can go wrong, and that's on the machine itself, not in washing or in curing or anything else like that. It's at the machine and then going to inspection. But since that is so distilled, we're able to focus and innovate on the processes around the machine rather than having to improve and continually iterate and tweak all the different processes. Oh, we're using this color, so we have to bake for this minute and we have to do that. FDM has its settings for the particular material, but once running and at scale, there's not much adjustment that has to be done there. This other benefit of FDM of having a finished product come right off the machine is really good for the long-term vision of 3D printing. At Slant 3D, we are working to build a warehouse where the shelves make the product. For that to work, a normal Amazon warehouse worker has to be able to walk down our rows, pluck a part, and throw it into a box. That is only possible, that process is only possible with FDM. Any other printing process, since it has curing and washing and so on and so forth down the line, cannot work inside of a warehouse and therefore cannot do the dream of 3D printing, which is to print on demand when a customer makes an order because no normal person can wander into the farm and pull off a resin print and throw it into a box without getting all kinds of garbage on their hands. FDM can do that, which means that we can deploy thousands to millions of these machines in warehouses like Amazon. And normal workers and users can just wander up and down the rows, grabbing the parts as they are finished and throwing them into a box to be shipped to a customer. No other printing process can do this, and this is very, very fundamental. 
And the very last reason that we use FDM is that it has capabilities that no other process does. This is not just that it's different from other processes. All the other 3D printing processes are designed to emulate injection molding. So they end up with thin walled parts that have ribs and cutouts and all this other stuff that are like material saving and so on and so forth. And this is a fundamental superpower of FDM. FDM is able to make large, chunky, enclosed volumes, but are still lightweight and material efficient because they can use infill, whereas no other printing process is actually able to do that. And that's a core competitive advantage because you're able to make parts that were never possible before so that clients and customers can create products that were never possible before. So hopefully that gives you a good summary of why we decided to use FDM and why we've hitched our cart to that horse and that horse alone. It gives us really good scale, really high reliability. It future proofs us to be able to do print on demand at scale. And it allows us to take advantage of all the historical manufacturing processes and materials that were available without having to reinvent the entire wheel. Have a great day, everybody.